So what types of users do you need to create for your cloud console? After you've accessed the console, you can create additional console users. As part of the process, you can assign privileges that allow certain users to perform various administrative tasks or some subset of administrative tasks based on their scope that you provide them. And you can also have users that are just basic contacts who will get notifications about the status of your cloud account. In the console, an administrator can create a user and then assign roles, depending on the type of administrator you want the new user to be. You might decide that the user will not be an administrator, but will just have various user capabilities in the system. So you could assign those particular role permissions. For example, if a user is simply to be a contact for notifications, you would limit their role assignments, and of course, limit access to changing anything on the system, but still permit various communications. Non-administrator roles, or just general users or contacts, can view notifications, access applications if you've given them access, manage their own accounts, including contact info, passwords, preferences, and so on. Note that some of these users may become administrators within their respective application services. So additional security roles within the applications will be assigned within the application itself. When you purchase your cloud account, buyer administrators, purchase entitlement buyer administrators, and purchase entitlement account administrators coordinate the purchase and provide you initial access to the services you've purchased. All user accounts on the system, whether administrators of various types or non-administrators, like contacts, are referred to as users on the cloud account with various permissions and roles assigned. After you receive your welcome email and activate your cloud account, you establish your cloud account administrator. Large enterprises require multiple cloud account admins to manage their accounts, subscriptions, services, and various account users. You, as a cloud account administrator, can create other users and assign various privileges as needed. Some of the key administrators you can create are business administrators, identity domain administrators, and service administrators. For more information on these, please refer to the notes in the slide. The buyer administrator, for example, is the initial purchase administrator who controls your company's buying process from Oracle. They make purchases on behalf of your company, designate initial cloud, and designate the initial cloud account administrator. They also manage or terminate a paid subscription to an Oracle service. A purchase entitlement buyer administrator manages purchases in the Oracle store only. Purchase entitlement account administrators are similar to service administrators. They can create new cloud accounts and can use an existing account to provision additional purchases on that account. Service administrators manage or use specific cloud services within the cloud account. They manage both service and instances within the service. Note, an instance administrator is a service administrator who is responsible for only a specific instance within that service. Service administrators will monitor and plan for outages, and they'll create and manage their own users as well. You have identity domain administrators, you, and then of course you have non-administrators who can access the cloud account console to change their personal password and get information from the environment, from the cloud console as needed. In other words, each type of administrator has a corresponding security role. Please do not confuse these roles with your application security roles. Those are part of the implementation process and are not what we're talking about here. This is strictly access to the cloud console and various services available from there.